Hi everyone and thanks for watching CS Academy Worldwide Educational Platform for Computer Science O Levels and A Levels. This is Sabudin Ahmed Siddiqui and now I have brought you the solution for pre-release October November 2017. So now this is the pre-release being displayed on a screen. You can see and you can go through the description required this time. And the task one requires you calculate the money taken in a day for one boat. and uh, this is basically the total number of boats you can see the tabulated data total number of boats 1 till 10 hiring time uh, starts at 10 am and the returning time is 17 pm that is 5 pm in general hour of cost per hour that is dollar 20 and half hour cost that is dollar 12 now you can go through the description released by the company the owner of a river boat hire company wants to calculate the daily profits from hiring out 10 rowing boats on the river boats are numbered 1 to 10 boats can be hired for use between 10 and 17 every day here every day means that means you have to uh write a program or pseudo code for 30 days so now coming on to the next description that the cost of the hiring boat is dollar 20 for 1 hour or dollar 12 for half an hour when a boat is hired the payment is added to the money taken for the day the returning total of hours hired that day is updated and the time when the boat must be returned is stored at the end of the day the money taken and the total hours i hired is output you can see the notice in red that is no boat can be hired before 10 or return after 17 that means the time limit has to be set properly before i proceed further i would request you to subscribe for the latest updates so now next slide is declaration of boats with data stored in an array of strings so now uh, why this was needed basically the question demands that if you enter any number of the boat rows that means 1 till 10 so you can see that the corresponding data will show you the message that there are some boats available or the boats particular boats you have entered the number of the boat will display you whether it is available or not or where it would be available uh the string boats row should be 11 because we are not uh, as you start from 0 till 10 it is 11 or you can just give a number let's suppose 11 if you are going to use 1 till 10 so you need to just have 11 11 scripts so i have stored 10 scripts here for 10 different boats rowing and now you can see that the different messages are appearing and you can make any message you can write any message by your own or whichever suits you better you can go for it so next slide will show you the variables being used or you can just make some different names or the meaningful names these are the meaningful names with the variable data types that you can see that integer variables and two variables have been initialized that is one hour hiring it could be different name hour hiring or hour cost okay one hour cost half hour cost or half hour price or ticket or whatever different in different means okay so integer you can see that the almost all are the integers you can uh, use float as well if there is any uh, decimal data requires or fractional data required okay so you can go through accordingly so now you can see that these are the variables or different variables can be used for different purposes now i can now uh, next slide will show you the sudo and the flow of the pre release now as you can see that you are i hope you are familiar with this structure so program flow or pseudo code for task 1 of 1 that means uh, for days for 30 days here i have marked days equals to 1 to 30 now you are going to take input hour this is that hour which is which provides you the range that if the hour is less than 10 or 17 so that means if the range of this input hour is lesser than 10 or greater than 17 then print invalid messages or message could be any type of messages like let's suppose you want to include more details in it you can include different details print and valid time boards are not ready use valid timings to avail boards hiring okay then else case again inputs the boat number 
if boat number you are now testing the boat number if boat number lesser than 1 or boat number greater than 10 again that means you are just focusing focusing the rowing status of the boats you have 10 boats uh, i remind you uh, print invalid boat number valid boat side 1 till 10 moving on to the next slide uh, the continuation of this uh, program flow or pseudo flow now you can see that one of two else now in the, on the previous page you can see that you have you are okay up till here and now now you are continuing with the else statement of this if right of this if you are going to continue with this if okay so now moving on to the next slide else print board status now boards row you have created the string array of this board now the number you have entered if the number is one two or whatever the number it will correspond the number entered and then you will see the message against the number entered now if it is number okay then you will be inputting hiring time so hiring time boat number which boat number you know that input returning time returning time boat number because you are hiring that's a boat number one or boat number two boat number five till boat number ten if any of the boats number are boat numbers are available you will are going to mark that boat now total time hiring boat number array because you have created the array of this this is this could be the number in the integer array so now total time hiring boat number equals to returning time boat number minus hiring time boat number the corresponding boat number now again you have to test the total total amount of hiring time now if total time hiring boat number less than one then why are less than one because they have given two options we are not uh, marking this uh, as let's suppose 30 minutes or 45 minutes or lesser than 60 minutes no we have just marked it if it is lesser than one that means we are assuming that this is 30 minutes and half an hour amount or half hour amount equals to total time hiring boat number multiplied by 12 and if this is a separate condition again if total hiring time boat number greater than equals to one that means definitely if there are one more than one hour or so that will be multiplied times by 20 right total hour amount equals to total time hiring boat number times 20 and if this is these two conditions have ended here and now this is the end if of the of this if right now this else end if is remaining so now on the third slide you can see that total amount you have received boat number of one boat in a day half of our amount boat number plus half total of our amount boat number total hiring hours that means total hiring hours plus total hiring hours plus total uh, total hiring hours equals to total hiring hours plus total hiring total time hiring boat number which boat number you have uh, used for the total whole day then end of day amount that means half hour amount plus total hour amount you we can also uh, avail the arrays of these two variables so just for the ease of use I have not used the array symbols over here and next day this is the loop end so you can see the loop of the month ends here so this way you will see that the task number one of one one of two and one of three have been completed and you can see that the flow of the program is remains the very smooth and you can you can make any changes in this if you want to go straight away without using arrays you can go so i hope you will like this thanks for watching till the next video task two comes and three comes thanks for watching